Hello, my dear students, students of second preparative stage for the English language subject. أهلا بكم طلابنا الأعزاء لمادة اللغة الإنجليزية الصف الثاني الإعدادي. آه النهاردة إحنا آه زي ما كل مرة بنبقى عارفين إن إحنا حلقتنا تحت رعاية وإشراف وزارة التربية والتعليم. Today it's a new beginning of a new term أو إن إحنا النهاردة آه بداية جديدة لترم جديد. Uh, already we passed through and uh, we discussed and we um, learned a lot of things in term one. أو إن إحنا اتعلمنا حاجات كتيرة قوي في الترم الأولاني. Uh, concerning grammar lessons, concerning the uh, reading passages, concerning the writing, emails and paragraphs, concerning everything, concerning also the uh, social skills and the values أو القيم أو المبادئ والمهارات الحياتية اللي إحنا اتفقنا عليها إنها إزاي تكون في شخصيتنا. كل ده اللي إحنا we tackled أو اتكلمنا فيه في الترم الأول. النهاردة new beginning بداية جديدة وزي كل مرة وكل مرة بقول لكم ان احنا نبقى جاهزين بالكتب بتاعتنا okay. uh, and uh, any highlighters or any pencils for jotting down anything after me يعني نبقى جاهزين كل مرة بالكتب والpencils او الاقلام عموما علشان uh, تكتبوا وراي اي حاجة مهمة okay. so today we have an interesting unit او عندنا وحدة uh, مهمة قوي Uh, واعتقد انها هتعجبكم ايه talks about technology او بتتكلم على التكنولوجيا عموما وال inventions that uh, will help us in the future او الاختراعات اللي مخترعه دلوقتي وممكن تساعد البشريه عموما في المستقبل. Uh, this is what we are gonna talk about in this episode او ده اللي هنتكلم عنه النهارده في حلقتنا. So get ready for our objectives and let's begin our session. Let's go. So, our dear students, let's now start with the objectives of today's session. Now, as you see here, I want you first to get prepared with your books, and with your pencils or pens, okay? So, now, our unit is titled with Technology and the Future. This is unit 7, طبعا انتو ممكن تستغربوا why it's 7, not 1, because we are completing what we started in term 1. احنا بنكمل على ال units of term 1, okay? فاحنا we stopped at unit 6, that's why we will start with unit 7. So here, our title is technology and the future. So here, we will focus on the lessons of 1, 2 and 3. By the end of this session, you will be able to know and understand and understand an article about the online shopping and this is very interesting for you I guess and تعلم النهاردة نقرأ مقال أو paragraphs عن the online shopping for the speaking part we will uh, learn how to give opinions about inventions and technology which is a debate actually okay let me uh, just to translate the word debate for you debate يعني like جدال okay جدال يعني when I start to uh, express my point of view أو بحاول أني أنا أقول وجهة نظري and then I listen also to uh, the other's point of view وبحاول برضو أسمع لوجهة نظري اللي قدامي and we start our debate أو our argument يعني بنحاول بقى نتجادل عن uh, أو حوالين موضوع معين topic معين okay so uh, the topic of today mainly we will focus on the online shopping so this is the speaking part for the listening part We will uh, read some uh, articles and we will have some discussions about the new inventions. Inventions, يعني اختراعات. And for the language or for the grammar part, الدرس الجرامر النهاردة عن if, how to use if plus when or if and when plus present simple and also we will uh, uh, use with them will or the future uh, simple tense. Okay, so this is for the grammar part. Okay, as a warm up here, I uh, um, got you some of the uh, pictures which is uh, actually which are actually on page uh, one on the first page for uh, in your books هتلاقوا في اول صفحه خالص الورم اب ده some pictures and we have to match every uh, definition with its suitable picture يعني هنحاول ان احنا نوصل ال definition of this invention او definition الاختراع ده نوصله بالصوره المناسبه لي so this is a picture number one and I want you to focus on the speakers السماعات okay So here as you, uh, as we read together now, when these headphones hear another language, they can translate it into your language. So let me show you with my pen now, here. Translate, translate, it's a new word, it's a new verb, means يترجم, okay? And the headphones, these are the headphones, okay? So this is a kind of uh, headphones, the نوع من السماعات. 
ان هي اختراع لما بيسمع لانجويج معينه بيترجم ممكن يترجمها للغه تانية انت عايزها اوكي سو ذس از فور ذا فيرست انفنشن فور ذا سكند انفنشن از يو سي هير ذس از سمثينج از يو سي لايك ا موتور بايك اور لايك ا هليكوبتر هي حاجه مزيج ما بين شكل الموتور بايك او الموتوسيكل والهليكوبتر طيار الهليكوبتر ذس از ا نيو انفنشن از از ات ا موتور بايك نو is it a helicopter no it's something we mix together no this invention is half motorbike and half helicopter it can push you into the air at the speed of a fast car okay so this is a kind of invention that will be uh, maybe uh, found in the future يعني حاجه من الاختراعات اللي ممكن نلاقيها في الفيوتشر uh, commonly used او بتستخدم بشكل شائع ما بين الناس عندنا بعد كده uh, the third picture what can you see here it's like a jacket And as you see here, there are uh, some parts that refer to heat. Or the parts D, that are the heat in the jacket. Okay, so it makes you feel more, uh, makes you feel warm. يعني لما تلبس الجاكيت ده نوع الجاكيت ده, it makes you feel warmer. يعني أتفى من أي جاكيت عادي. So this clever jacket, we call it clever jacket. Okay, uses an app, an app here. It's a new word and it means uh, uh, um, uh, application or برنامج معين to make you warmer when the weather is cold. Okay. For the last picture, <coughs> can you see here what's in the uh, um, in the road itself? It's something we call solar panels. The solar panels or the استخدام الطاقة الشمسية في الكهرباء. ده اختراع جديد إن إحنا ممكن إن نوفر. في المستقبل in the future there will be cars uh, um, uh, not with fuel أو مش هيبقى فيها بنزين هتبقى شغالة بالالكتريسيتي أو بالكهرباء فعلشان نشحن العربيات دي with electricity أو بكهرباء هنخصص لها زي ممشى أو زي طرق معينة that are uh, using the solar panels دي أو بتستخدم الطاقة الشمسية دي okay so this invention uses strong glass بيستخدم نوع من strong glass يعني العربيات دي بتمشي على نوع معين من الإزاز طبعا مقوى that you can drive on and make electricity نوع الازاز ده هو اللي بيعمل الكهرباء at the same time okay so we have here as you see the uh, uh, words in orange headphones translate motorbike helicopter speed يعني سرعه app solar panels and electricity كل دي الكلمات الجديده so that was just a warm up او ده كان تهيئه كده للدرس النهارده عن التكنولوجي here we have to complete the following uh, sentences with will or won't and let me tell you something that won't here means will not this is the abbreviation or اختصار won't okay Abbrevi abbreviation of won't is will not okay so you can write it that way or this one so here I use will or won't or will not to express future يعني أنا دايما بستخدم will plus infinitive here will plus infinitive verb and we said many times infinitive means the simple verb the first uh, uh, form of the verb يعني بنستخدم الشكل الاول خالص من الverb بعد will to express future علشان نعبر عن المستقبل okay so here I want you to read with me the sentences and try to guess whether we have to fill in using will or won't so here the machine machine يعني uh, مكنة معينة the machine space or I mean any of the inventions we uh, read about in the previous slide يعني حاجة من الاختراعات اللي احنا قارينا عنها السلايد اللي فاتت The machine space be able to fly very high Okay, so is it will or won't? So here, it won't, okay? It won't be able to fly very high For number two, I think lots of people want to buy one So can you guess, will people like to buy any of these inventions in the future I guess they will be curious or يعني يكونوا عندهم الاهتمام ان هم اكيد ممكن لو عندهم الاستطاع يشتروا حاجة من الحاجات دي in the future definitely they will buy any of them so this is gonna be will will as you see here plus want and here will not plus be so I shall add infinitive verb number three it space help people to speak other languages if I'm talking about the speakers Will they help me as a person to uh, translate languages and to talk with more, one, more than one language? 
definitely okay it will not uh, um, it will not uh, give you a lot of languages okay because it has certain program يعني ليها برنامج كده معين فلازم ان احنا نبرمجه بشكل معين so here it won't help people to speak other languages because it's just translating هي بترجم بس okay I hope they space build lots of these in Egypt am I hoping this or not definitely I hope it I hope they will build lots of them and here this is the rule I uh, uh, just mentioned minutes ago use will or will not equals will not equals won't to talk about future predictions like the following examples the headphones will be very useful for traveling يعني طبعا الهيدفونز هتبقى مفيدة جدا لو حد مسافر and he's using them or a second one the machine won't be able to fly very high okay so these were just two examples of how to use will or won't for expressing future discuss the questions in small groups or you can discuss it with any of your pairs يعني ممكن تتناقش مع اي صديق لك في ال questions اللي جاية دي which of the four inventions the four inventions or the four inventions that we talked about which of them do you think will become the most used and why do you think what are any of the four inventions that we talked about that can be used or used more in the future I prepared the sample for you this is my own sample this is the sample that I got and you can definitely change any of it I think the headphones will become more popular in the future because they will help, uh, they will be more useful in translating languages, especially for those who travel a lot all around the world. Yani for example, if you traveled abroad or outside, you need a translator with you, for example, to translate any language or any words that you don't know about. So I think it will be more useful, which is going to be uh, commonly used in the future. Okay, a second question. Which of the four inventions do you think won't be used very much in Egypt and why? تفتكر إيه ال invention أو الاختراع اللي من الأربعة ممكن ما يبقاش بيستخدم كتير في Egypt if it's found لو وجد يعني. I prepared also a sample for you. I guess uh, the invention which is about uh, half motorbike and half helicopter because I think this is not going to be affordable. يعني مش هيبقى هيبقى طبعا مكلف جدا و I think مش كل الناس هتقدر تشتري هنا في مصر عشان دي حاجة محتاجة تكلفة عالية جدا في اختراع زي ده. Okay, so that was just my sample for discussion. And here we have two columns. And then um, column A and column B and we have to match okay علشان to make useful phrases الفريز يعني عبارة okay we will use such verbs here and we will uh, connect them or match them with suitable uh, nouns علشان نعمل phrasal verbs أو نعمل phrases أو عبارات تدي معنى okay so of course uh, the, the one verb the only verb or one verb can give me more than one phrase يعني ممكن استخدم الverb الواحد مع اكتر من noun هنا وبيديني اكتر من meaning او اكتر من معنى so here let me show you like for number one have a choice this is the first phrase او دي اول عبارة معناها to have a choice او to make a choice يعني ان انت تعمل اختيار تختار حاجة يعني for the second one save time can you guess save time means يوفر وقت and spend money. Spend money معناها يصرف فلوس. Spend money on something. Waste time is the opposite of save time. Waste time يضيع وقت. Wait for a delivery. إن احنا نستنى delivery أو خدمة توصيل الطلبات معينة. And save money. Save money إن أنا أحوش فلوس. Okay. For the last one, spend time يعني يقضي وقت. Okay. So these are the phrases I got for you. وطبعا نصحت ليكم انكم تكتبوا معنى كل كلمه جنب كل فريز. Again I will repeat it for you. Have a choice يعني يختار. Save time يعني يوفر وقت. Spend money يعني يصرف فلوس. Waste time يعني يضيع وقت. Wait for a delivery ينتظر خدمه توصيل الطلبات. Save money يحوش فلوس and spend time يعني يقضي وقت. Okay. Read the article. Can you find any of the phrases from exercise two in the text? Okay, here we have we have a short article. Okay, and it includes uh, a new vocab words. فيها كلمات جديدة. We will focus on. But after finishing reading the article first, okay. 
It's titled with أو هي بعنوان Shopping Online طبعا احنا قلنا مينلي هنركز النهاردة in our session أو في السيشن بتاعتنا الحصة النهاردة بتاعتنا على الأونلاين شوبينج So are you for or against يعني هل انت مع ولا ضد الأونلاين شوبينج So we have here two different opinions يعني عندنا رأيين مختلفين uh, One for uh, this girl and another uh, one for a boy uh, We will read them and we will see the Uh, pros and cons أو الـ negative والـ positive sides يعني الـ الحاجات الإيجابية للـ online shopping والـ uh, جوانب السلبية للـ online shopping through these two opinions so the first opinion is about NG I love online shopping so NG already does love the online shopping okay online shopping or shopping online is great okay now firstly it saves me time ده أول حاجة هي why she loves the online shopping أو الـ shopping online إن ده بيوفر لها وقت I don't want to spend lots of time traveling to the shops. هي مش عايزة تضيع وقت إنها تروح للمحل uh, itself. بس هي عندها أفضل إنها to shop while being at home. Okay. I can stay home and buy the things I want in a few minutes. Okay. Secondly, I have more choice online. هي عندها اختيارات كتيرة إنها uh, to click on any uh, icon أو في uh, أي website إنها to go check any website. يعني ممكن يبقى عندها الوقت أكتر إنها تشوف اكتر من ويب سايت وده هيديها تشويسز اكتر من انها تروح محل لوحده اوكي اولسو اف مور بيبل شوب اون لاين ذير ويل بي فيور كارز اون ذا رود اند ليس بولوشن هي عندها وجهه نظر ان احنا وين وي جو تو شوبس ليس يعني لما نقلل مروحنا للمحلات ده هيقلل العربيات في الشوارع which means ان هيبقى فيه less pollution واتكلمنا عن البولوشن في الترم الاول ان هو التلوث يعني هنقلل من التلوث عشان عوادم السيارات I will do all my shopping online when I'm older هي قررت ان انا حتى لما اكبر في السن برضو هعمل كل الشوبينج اونلاين That was the opinion for NG ده كان رأي NG Let's see the opposing opinion او الرأي العكس او اللي ضد ده Okay, here we have Beher, the second opinion. I prefer going to real shops. Beher prefers going to real shops. هو بيحب يروح الشوب itself in my city. Every time I buy clothes online, the thing that I buy is wrong. مشكلته إن هو كل ما يطلب حاجة online, it comes in a wrong way. بتيجي بشكل خطأ. Either for the size or for the color. Anyways, at a shop, لما هو بقى وجهة نظره, when I'm at a shop, I can see what I am buying and I can try it first. هو is justifying أو بيبرر أنا لما بيكون في الشوب أنا ممكن أن أنا to try أو أقيس ال, ال, كل السايزز وأتأكد of my size عن أن هو يطلب حاجة online and he's not sure of the size itself okay. Also I don't like to waste time waiting for a delivery هو مش عنده وقت أن هو يقعد يستنى delivery because maybe delivery can come after one month for example and sometimes we are in hurry يعني ساعات بنبقى محتاجين نشتري الحاجة دي بسرعة فمش هستنى اكيد الدليفري يجي لي بعد اسبوعين او شهر فهو شايف اتس انستنتلي او uh, في لحظتها ممكن انا اروح واشتري اللي انا عايزه اون ذا سبوت اوكي اي وونت ثينكس ناو اف ايفري اف ايفري ون شوبس اون لاين ذا شوبس ان اور تاونز اند سيتيز ويل كلوز هو برضو بيتكلم في بوينت ثانيه ان لو كل الناس اشترت اون لاين كده المحلات نفسها اللي في السيتي او في التاون هتقفل اوكي اف ذي كلوز ذن لوتس اوف اذر بزنسز لايك كافيز ويل كلوز تو ده طبعا هيأثر على الـ projects الثانية أو المشاريع الثانية أو المحلات الثانية فمش هيبقى فيه حركة بيع وشراء في الأسواق. This is the point of view of Beher. Okay? So, totally most of you or maybe majority of you can go for the uh, shopping online idea while others can go for the uh, shops, the real shops. Okay? طبعا ده صح وده صح كل واحد ليه وجهة نظر. And he's justifying why he loves so. يعني كل واحد بيبرر وجهة نظره. And we can agree that both opinions are correct. لأن كل واحد حسب ظروفه إيه. فـ definitely الرأيين مهمين والرأيين ممكن يبقوا صح. So here, read the article again and complete the table with the reasons for and against. For يعني with مع و against يعني ضد. Shopping online. You can add more ideas to the table. So here, We have a table and the first part is titled with for and the second part is titled with against. Here, okay, for يعني إن إحنا لازم نشوف ال phrases أو العبارات اللي هي ليها علاقة بال إن أنت مع ولا ضد ال online shopping. Okay, it saves time definitely. It's for. 
it helps the environment because it has less pollution there are too many choices ده كل ده احنا ليه ممكن نبقى مع فكرة الشوبينج اونلاين sometimes it's way cheaper than the real shops اوكي طبعا ساعات الاونلاين بيبقى ارخص شويه البرودكتس او المنتجات اللي معروضه اونلاين بتبقى ارخص من الريل شوبس سو ذيس ار ذا بوزيتيف ستيتمنتس او الحاجات اللي ممكن يبقى ليها بوزيتيف سايد فور ذا شوبينج اونلاين ليتس سي اجينست بارت اور ذا نيجاتيف سايد اوف ذا شوبينج اونلاين يو كان تراي ثينجز بيفور يو باي طبعا مشكله ان هي ريسك او مجازفه ان انت مش هتجرب الحاجه اللي هتطلبها It takes more time to be delivered. طبعا هتاخد وقت اطول انها تتبعت لك. Many real shops and cafes will close because of the online shopping. And you can get wrong sizes while shopping online. انت مش هتضمن السايز اللي هيجي لك هو نفس اللي طلبته ولا لا. Okay. Then here we have the last part. It's about if conditional. If conditional اللي هي الـ الـ الجمل الشرطية أو اللي فيها الـ الـ جمل عن لو لو إيه حصل إيه ممكن يحصل in the future الرول بتقول لي إن after if or when I add present simple and let me remind you quickly present simple ده اللي هو المضارع البسيط اللي هو بيعبر عن it expresses facts or habits or timetables يعني المضارع البسيط ده بيعبر عن روتين متعود عليه أو فاكت يعني حقيقة ما بتتغيرش في الطبيعة أو مواعيد مواعيد ثابتة للقطر للطيارة للشوبس بتفتح وتقفل إمتى كل ده present simple and I just add s with the singular uh, uh, verb يعني مع singular subject I add s like she goes or es or I leave it in infinitive, in infinitive form يعني بسيبه في شكله الأولاني خالص if I have a plural subject يعني بقول they play they go ده present simple سريعا كده اوكي okay? so after if or when I shall add uh, present simple and for the other part I add will plus infinitive or won't plus infinitive so here if I space go to the shops I space spend a lot of money so because I have if here the part اللي فيه if لازم احط الverb اللي فيه in the present simple tense so if I go I space spend a lot of money will spend يبقى البارت اللي فيه if a when بحط الverb in the present simple tense and the other part I put it in uh, the future simple tense اللي هو will or won't يعني will not plus infinitive as you see here number two when Huda space visit Cairo she space buy some new shoes طيب هنا أنا ما عنديش if but I have when it's the same case if or when this is the part of if or when so what tense I'm gonna choose here yes present simple tense المضارع البسيط so Huda visits Cairo she the second part yes I have to add will or won't plus infinitive will buy number three Hassan space not use the internet to buy food when he be older be the verb to be verb to be هو am is or in the present and was or were in the past طيب Should I add here in this part the present simple tense? Definitely not. You know why? Because the sentence here doesn't start with when or if. And I'm going to the part that is when or if. And after it, I add the present simple tense. So where is when? It's here. So this means I have to add after when the present simple form of be, which is with he, it will be is. And for the second part, I add will plus infinitive or won't plus infinitive. So I have the negation. I will add not. So Hassan won't use, or you can write it will not use. يعني both are correct. The second صح. With any part is. Then, Mona space look online for a new phone when she space home. So where is when or if? It's in the middle. So what's the present tense part? It's the one after when. So this one should be put in the present simple tense, and this one. should be put in the future simple tense so as the following Mona will look online for a new phone when she gets home number five if I space so I have here if at the beginning I space yes present simple at the beginning because I have if and then for the next part will not be able يعني مش هكون قادر على ده in the future 
and this is the rule as I mentioned if or when plus present simple and in the second part I add the future simple tense which is will plus infinitive or won't plus infinitive okay and this is an example that uh, shows the rule okay so that was everything concerning our session of today we just focused on the new inventions that are going to be maybe used in the uh, future and we focused on how to use the rule of if or when plus present simple and for the next part I uh, use the future simple tense. So I do thank you so much for watching uh, the episode of today and next time I'll be meeting with you with more interesting topics. Okay, so wait for me by the next time. Thank you and stay safe. Bye.